Hey everyone, welcome to the five in five series with the 6570 Family Project, where we are all about becoming and raising young women that are equipped and grounded in a foundation of worth, esteem, and confidence. And so in these five and five series, I'm going to be coming at you and coming alongside you rather um, with five things that you can do in five minutes or less, because I'm raising four teenage young women of my own. I know time is very valuable. So without further ado, do, let's go ahead and get started because today I want to talk to you about five things or five ways that you can start a conversation that your daughter's actually going to respond to. They're going to appreciate. They're going to feel welcomed into the conversation. Okay. So number one, is to be calm. Okay. And I have to be calm when I say that as well. You can't say calm in a rushed way, right? But you want to be calm when you come into a conversation. It doesn't mean that you need to be, you know, in a meditative state or anything like that, but you don't want to be too excitable as far as mentally or emotionally, especially on the negative side of the spectrum. But honestly, even on the positive, I mean, think about it anytime that one of your kids or somebody out in public is so excited and they run up to you and they're like, oh my goodness, listen to me right now. I got to do that. You're like, whoa, 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 whoa. I can't even take in what you're saying right now because I am so blinded by your, you know, extreme happiness, your extreme excitement, whatever that is. So be calm and it will be a way of inviting. It's like an open front door, right? You are inviting them into the conversation. So be calm, preferably very positive, but calm regardless. Okay. Number two, ask them an opinion question, not just a yes or no question, an opinion question, maybe a question that requires them naming off a few things. Like what were three things that you're super, you know, happy about with school today? What were three things that were super hard uh, about today? Or I'm having this issue right now. I don't know. What do you think? Right really valuing their insight and their perspectives. And you never know. Many times our kids are geniuses when it comes to perspectives on issues that we are having in our own lives outside of the family as well. So one, be calm. Two, ask an opinion question or something other than a yes, no question. Number three, I want to really encourage you not to bring sarcasm, especially into the beginning of a conversation. Sarcasm literally means tearing of flesh. I don't know about you, but that's not a great way to start a conversation. It's not inviting. You don't feel welcome. You certainly don't feel worthy or taken seriously. And it might make them feel a little, you know, dumb or stupid. And that's not a great way to start a conversation. They're not going to be able to open up and be themselves. So that would be the third one. Leave sarcasm at the door. Don't bring it into a conversation, especially at the beginning of a conversation. Sarcasm is actually one of the um, enemies of communication that I talk about in Take the Lead, but especially at the beginning, it's not the way to enter the door of a conversation. And next, give a genuine compliment. And if you're struggling, if you guys are going through a hard time right now, find something. I promise you there's something to have a genuine compliment about. And then start the conversation off there, right? I really like the way that you did your hair today, right? I really like what you did to that shirt right? I really appreciate the way that you tried to clean up the kitchen last night. A genuine compliment. I really appreciated what your teacher had to say about you. I really appreciated, um, uh, and, or I really thought, you know, what you did with your sister last night was really beautiful and was so helpful. Thank you. Right. A genuine compliment to them can open the doors, relax the situation and open up for a communication and a conversation. And then lastly, use her name. I know it sounds so simple, but when we use our uh, other people's names and when our names are being heard, it literally lights up a different part of the brain than just a conversation that's happening otherwise, because it tunes into, wait, this is for me. This is for me right now. I need to tune in here. So use 
her name. And also, if you have multiple kids, sometimes there might be that sibling that is always answering the questions and always kind of coming in and interjecting into a conversation. So it's really important for that other quieter uh, child that you say their name so that they know, wait, I'm actually also worthy here. I'm my thoughts and my opinions, what I have to say, what I did was actually also really important here. So be sure to use the name. So in conclusion, you're five and five today, five ways to start a conversation that she will really appreciate and lean into are number one, to be calm. Number two, to ask a question, either an opinion question or naming some things questions, but not a yes, no question. Okay. Um, number three, no sarcasm, leave it at the door. Number four, have a genuine compliment. Start with a genuine compliment. And number five, use her name. Okay, guys, go use those today. Put down in the comments what happens when you do. I can't wait to hear from you and I'll talk to you soon. All right. Bye guys.